Hello and welcome. In this video tutorial, we will show how to create an organization attribute. Organization attributes provide a way to reference an attribute at the organization level. Organization attributes allow an attribute's generated value to be referenced by multiple projects. They are organized and managed through organization attribute suites. To create an organization attribute, Expand the management menu within the menu bar and select organization attributes. For this example, an organization attribute suite has already been created. The selected organization attribute suite will be highlighted in blue. In this example, testers need to generate a 10 digit random code consisting of four numbers, two characters, and four more numbers. This code needs to be used across several test data projects. The first step will be to create the organization attribute. This can be done by clicking on Add Organization Attribute within the Organization Attributes pane. You will need to enter a name for the organization attribute. For this example, we will call it code. A description is also recommended. For this example, we will enter generate identification code. Once finished, click the save button. After adding an organization attribute, you will see several icons within the action column. You can use the pencil to edit the organization attribute, the two pages to copy an organization attribute, the trash can to remove an organization attribute from the selected organization attribute suite, and the arrow to change the position of the organization attribute within the pane. After you've created the organization attribute, you will need to add one or more generators to it. Generators can be added individually by clicking on the add generator button or you can click on the add multiple generators button to add more than one generator at a time. For this example, we will add each generator individually. We will click on add generator to add our first generator to the organization attribute. For our Elias, we will call it random number one. Next, we will need to select the generator. Click on the input field and begin typing the name of the generator. For this example, we will type random gen and select the random gen generator. Once finished, click save. You will see the added generator within the generator's pane. On the right, you will see a preview of the data it will generate. And in the bottom, right corner, you will see the generator parameters. Let's add our second generator. Click on add generator again. And for the Elias, we will enter alphabet one. Then we need to select our generator. We will enter alphabet gen and select the alphabet gen generator. Once finished, click save. For this example, we need to add five generators. The first four generators will generate each piece of the code. The fifth generator will combine the generated values into one value for test data. Let's add our third generator. We will call this one alphabet two. And again, select the alphabet gen generator and click save. Our fourth generator will be the random gen generator. We will call this one random number two and then select the random gen generator and click save. We have added our first four generators that generate each of the components of our full code. 
Now we need to add the concatgen generator to combine the generated values into one code. Let's click add generator again. We will call this combine and select the concatgen generator. And then click save. We have successfully added our five generators to the organization attribute. We can click on a generator to see the generated value and its parameters on the right hand side of the dashboard. You can use the icons in the action column to edit a generator, copy a generator, delete a generator, and change the generator's position within the pane. In this example, we added each generator individually. We could have also used the copy icon, which looks like two pages, to copy an existing generator and its parameter values. Now that we've added our generators, we need to make a few parameter changes. The steps for changing a generator's parameters within an organization attribute are the same as when changing the generator parameters for an attribute within a domain. Currently, we have selected the first generator and it is highlighted in blue. In our example, we need this to be a four digit number. And right now, the range is from one to 10,000. For the first generator that generates the four digit random number, we have changed the start range to 1000 and the end range to 9999 to ensure a four digit number is generated. When changes are made to a generator's parameter values, you will need to click the save generator button to save those changes. As you can see in the preview pane above, we now have four digit numbers for the first generator. Generator two generates a letter of the alphabet and it is randomized. No changes need to be made to this generator. The same applies to generator three. Generator four is also supposed to be a four digit number. We are going to change these parameters again for generator four or the random number two generator. We'll change the start range to 1000 and the end range to 9999 and then click the save generator button. As you can see in the preview pane, we now have a four digit number. Generator five is going to combine what was generated in the first four generators into one code. We are using the concatgen generator. We will need to reference the other four generators to create the code. To reference a generator, double click where it says double click to add a reference in the list parameter. Then select the attribute generator tab. You will see our other four generators within the dialog window. The generators were added in the order they need to be combined. So we are going to first add gen one by clicking on the plus. Then we are going to double click again, select attribute generator and add generator two. We'll double click again, select attribute generator and add generator three. And finally, we will add the fourth generator. Once all generators have been referenced, we will click the save generator button. If you look at the preview data at the top, you will see that our code has four numbers, two letters, and four more numbers. This concludes our tutorial on creating and setting up an organization attribute. Thank you for watching.